the online decommissioning of offshore installations regulatory issues course looks at international law and domestic law and policy issues. Um, it's concerned particularly with you know, the, the strategic decision that has to be made by a state that has decided to develop um, oil and gas within its, um, within its territory. When you get to the end of life of particular oil fields, what do you do? Um, now in the North Sea area, we are subject to um, something called OSPAR, which is an international law instrument, um, which has got some pretty firm ideas about how decommissioning should be done. That flows down into uh, domestic law, uh, and that in turn flows down into the, the, the policy and practice of the various oil companies. So we'll be looking at OSPAR, we'll be looking at its local implementation, um, and we'll be looking at um, how, in, in practice, one goes around um, satisfying those, those legal obligations. But of course, it's not just um, the UK that's facing uh, issues of decommissioning. Other uh, states are too. And many of them actually deal with this issue in quite a radically different way. Um, so we will be uh, engaging in comparative study uh, and getting into the, you know, the, the really quite high level policy question of actually what should this area of law look like. Um, OSPAR is noticeably different from most other um, international um, law devices. Is it better? Is it worse? Is, is the UK system over-inclusive or the perfect model that should be implemented elsewhere. So that's fundamentally what this course is all about. The course is relevant um, obviously to lawyers who are engaged in practice in this area, um, but it's not just of relevance to lawyers because decommissioning is a major industry now uh, and law is part of, by no means the totality of, but part of what a decommissioning professional needs to think about. Um, if you're involved in environmental uh, impact assessments, you need to know something about the law. If you're an engineer, it would be beneficial to know something about the law because some of the very particular engineering decisions that you may have to make are indirectly informed by legal uh, principles or legal regulations.